Hello. Today I want to take a look at um, today I want to take a look at um and boxes defense on bind against Mamba Mode Gaming in the NSG November Invitational uh, Finals. What's interesting about this is you can see Anbox is playing a Viper on Bind, which we've only seen one other recently, which is FPX in um, the first strike qualifiers. Now on that one, they didn't show off their full defense because they won rather convincingly. However, here, because Anbox starts on defense, we get to witness the full 12 rounds of what Viper can really add to the team and also some of the trade-offs to it. Now, this game was a 13-1. It was kind of a blowout, and because of that... Um, there's going to be a lot more pros that we see in this game rather than some of the cons to Viper. However, this is a really good example to highlight what Viper can bring to a composition, how it can really throw the enemy team off. So round one, pistol round, let's take a look right here. Um, Mambo Gaming is playing Cypher and Viper on A together. You're going to see this combo quite often throughout this match. Meanwhile, the other three, uh, Phoenix, Brim, and Sova, are all... B long, obviously going to push, get some aggressive info uh, to make the good call that it's likely an A push. The opposite side for so, Gaming. from here, and box on the defense. Uh, notice Sofa's going to drone, and he's obviously going to bring it right into this tripwire. The moment Viper hears that drone hover, she unleashes the one way. The notice at the same time that this one way is unleashed, the brim smokes are put down. Now, this is really interesting because. Two of these Brim Soaks were used, so Brim has at most one more. They are obviously non regenerable. And because of that, Mamamo Gaming has an interesting decision. They have to either try and push through this one way, uh, which can be quite challenging in order to utilize those Brim Smokes, or they can try and wait it out. Now, something that helps the decision, the notice, is that Cypher is also going to put a one way up. So we'll get a view in a moment that right over here, anyone coming to help out this jet who dashed uh, through the tripwire into this uh, past the Sova drone to help, who, by the way, got hit by this and became vulnerable and thus is, is an easy kill, any reinforcements coming are going to have a really hard time pushing through a double one-way. They're going into completely unknown territory. So this jet is going to pick up fairly easily, and you can see this raise is going to try and help by pushing through. Raise is picked up quickly. She is also vulnerable. Two classic shots at that range will kill. Now, you'll notice that the one way is going to end for Cypher. However, they're going to set up another Molly here. In all that time, well, all that was taking place was the time for Cypher to slowly walk through the showers. Notice that... Um, Seb, the Ambox Cypher, has set up a cage right here, which kind of stalled Seb out. And Seb spent, had to spend that entire time carefully pushing through because he didn't know what he was going into, and he was alone. Now at this point, Brim um, is going to put a molly down there to kind of force Seb out of the corner. These two will fight. Seb will pick up the kill. However, unfortunately, Seb is going to walk into... Um, the molly and die because he's pushed back from the sova now notice just now um that pay in mamba mode gaming cypher has pushed through at this point he can just get ganked fairly easily as can the sova because all the reinforcements are here so you'll see pain will get a kill um cypher will get dropped and then as well viper will get killed right there however it's simply not enough they're overrun and Android gets some good kills. So, even from that round, you'll notice how the Brim Smokes, which are already shorter than Omens, are... Um, the reaction to Viper putting the orb up as the Brim puts his smokes down really throws off Mamba Mode and puts them in a unique position on whether or not to push through. In that case, they tried and it failed. Now let's go over here to round number two and look at this setup instead. They're going to play a bit more passively over here. And you can see Cypher's looking to get into showers just as usual. However, you're going to see that the Cypher -qualifying series is going to quickly fly out. And Viper has her one-way smoke this time set up for showers. They're expecting 
a much there larger shower splash. Um, Hamamo Gaming is going to work through the same trap wall or the same cyber cage that Seb had set up previously. We were used and now, rather than one showers for short, they've got four short, one showers. Map, one Sova is going to drone as usual. Previously. However, once again, as the brim smokes come down, the Viper Orb in the meta. comes up. Additionally, Ye sends out a Molotov just to prevent anyone from pushing through. And again, Amb uh, sorry, Mamba Mode have a really interesting consideration. Do they push through this? Through the Molotov? Through that becoming vulnerable? Or do they try and wait it out and not have as many smokes? In this Ye case, you'll see through. they're stalled we'll out for a little bit. They get info on the Cypher. And, and they decide to push hand. through right now as the Molotov is ending. Of course, this Molotov ever gets set up and it's going to throw their timings off again. Brim puts down another smoke right here. Just try and help them. Create that little thing to push like through. Or sorry, that's jet smoke, not brim. And jet pushes through. Now, notice that just as the viper orb is starting to end, the brim smokes are up. And so now, they're having to push through essentially smokeless because they still have three right by showers and only one person has actually gotten onto site. Um, Ye is going to find Screwface through the smoke. And now, they can get really good info. These two players have to push through, are still mollied off. And just pain is in here, the cipher alone. Sova has tried to push through, but you can see that Ambox's brim smoked him off, so he's having trouble pushing through there. Um, notice they have to push through, and obviously, Ye being able to see them is going to be able to find one easily, even though Cypher puts down his own cages to try and help. Sova gets picked off, and finally, Brim does. So, again, we can see where Viper. Just has this great ability to stall and really throw off Mamamo's timings, who you can tell both of those rounds wanted to push in fast. They wanted to full stack and push. They were prevented because of the Viper, because of the way the Viper was playing. Okay, now let's take a look at round three. Round three is another save because Mamamo Gaming did try and force that last round. However, this time they're going to try and go through B rather than A because it's been causing them troubles. This is another great example of how Viper really messes up a team's timings and helps Anbox understand exactly when a team's going to push. A Sovadark gets some early info that there's quite a presence at B. Um, and Viper is going to set up a wall that we saw FPX use as well that's going to cut all the way through to cut off Hookah Window and B Long. Um, notice right here, the position they have, Mambo is going to have a hard time pushing through that. Furthermore, Brim actually has some info belong that no one's up yet. Hookah is unknown so far, however, Sova is sitting under it just in case. Now this stall is going to happen for a little, Brim is forced off. The other Brim zone unleashes the smokes because they want to push through. However, they really can't, they're having trouble pushing through. Their decision is that when the Viper Wall goes down, to immediately push through. This gives them a very short window, because obviously, the Viper is going to put that wall back up soon. They have to push immediately. This gives Anbox um, great awareness, and they're really ready for this push. They're expecting a push now, just when the Viper Wall comes down. Um, it just gives Anbox some preparation, and just the mental preparation to handle a push not being caught off guard anything like that. So that's going to happen. Jet's going to push, Ray's going to push, Sova's going to pick them off, as well as Android. And now it's just Brim and Sova again, trying to push through. Um, so not any luck, picked off quite easily. Now I want to take a look at round 4, because round 4 is going to look almost the same exact thing. Um, they're going to, Mamamo is going to really try and push B. Um, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. We're going to see the wall again fall. Um, notice, however, what's going to happen when, in this case, Mambamo do not push through when the Viper Wall descends. Uh, they try and get some info by droning. In the end, they are held off. Uh, this is a couple of seconds later. The wall goes down, however, this time, they're not going to push through completely. Um, they're not going to push through, and because they don't push through in time, the wall goes up just as this 
jet is committing again. About... This leaves another jet for an isolated fight. In which, right up. now, you have... Um, all four of these players right here, cut off by the Viper Wall, and Jet, who is forced to hide, waiting for it to come down. Um, she gets spotted, they're aware that one person is through, and now they all try and push through together, through the, into the unknown. Android gets a really good shot right here, and at this point, um, the Rays now is isolated right here. Um, with nowhere really to go. So Raze is going to get picked off. Jet's going to find a kill. However, at this point, again, Viper's over here and it's back to a 3v3. And the time, because they waited so long, is down to 30 seconds. They have to decide, do they want to take the TP and go now, or do they want to try and push? Um, they try and put another smoke from Brim. However, so the shock darts and eventually the Viper Wall are just going to hold them off again. They have 20 seconds left. They have to TP. But at this point, 15 seconds, they don't have enough time to push through a Cypher who's waiting and a um, smoke right here to deter them, which is, by the way, the Viper smoke. The Viper one way is just going to sit here and they look at this and they say, we can't do this. And they're going to save. Jet's going to try and get a lurk, but because nothing happens, the Sova doesn't move and she's not going to be able to find anything from it. So you can see this round was very similar to the last round. However, Mambo did not decide to push that small opening that they had with the Viper wall down. And because of that, because they respected the Viper wall so much, they were completely stalled out from the round and just forced to stay there. Okay, I've skipped round five because while Ambox did win, it did not show any special Viper um, techniques from Ambox. Round six is different though. At this point, you can see Ye has his ult. It's going to be another Viper Cypher combo, however, this time on B. Cypher has a camera in Hookah with trips at both the entrances to site. And you're going to see, just in a moment, that Viper is going to ult right in this corner and completely cut off both the TP and Octagon, the entrance to B site. Um, this is a very scary area now to push through B. And while it is possible by moving in together to trade on the Viper, um, it's obviously a big deterrent to pushing onto B. Now notice Cypher's in his camera from the very start, and he's sitting at the back of A. That means with four people on A right now, if it's an A push, the there's already four there, and they can kind of pincer these Mamba Mode gaming players quite easily. If it's a B push, however, they're going to have time to rotate because the Viper will be able to stall successfully. Um... So let's see how this plays out. You can see Cypher is sitting his camera the entire time, so this Raze does not hear it. Now, we don't get a good view of where that camera is or where it's placed. Um, it's likely almost on the ceiling above Raze, where she's obviously not going to check if she doesn't hear it. And at this point, Cypher can see the Raze. Now, Android gets a good pick onto the jet, making it a 4v5, giving them some pressure. Rays, who has worked up, is going to say, hey, okay, let's try and work B. However, the Cypher can see the Rays. I want to bring you back a couple seconds. This is only seen by the minimap, but the moment that the Cypher sees this Rays, Viper is going to put her smoke up. You can see Rays enters, and you can see that little overlay right there where Viper puts the smoke up now. Raze is scared to push forward, can't see anything for info, and Cypher can still see Raze. Now Raze is going to sit in the smoke for a moment. Cypher, however, is aware of it. And so while Raze is seemingly hidden there, Ye is just making sure that she doesn't actually push. Um, at this point, the toxins go down. Raze is going to hide Cypher, still sees her, and Ye is just going to walk right over and wall bait her. Now the casters are going to be very confused here. However, we, looking at the minimap, can clearly see how this info was gained. Trying to play what no information? 
And now the Sova and Brim, who are trying to give the raise enforcements, are also held back. Sova is gonna um, try and work his way through with the drone to get some info. Viper however, is just gonna hide here, not allow any info. Brim at this point has mollied the floor, and it would be extremely hard to push through this, so they're gonna walk away. And notice now, they still have three people on A. Um, unfortunately, here Cypher kinda chokes, does not kill the Sova, poaches a... Uh, showing us the running gun and how effective it can be um and at this point it is just a cleanup from anbox okay now i want to jump quite a bit forward over to round nine the pa uh, previous couple of rounds were very similar just the wall holding off mambo mambo not being able to really push through to get the correct timing and anbox just winning the aim duels um just kind of styling on Mambo, to be honest. This, however, is the one round that Mambo would win. What's really interesting about this round, as we'll see in a bit, is that it just Viper's not prepped. Like is this is a round with no Viper utility that influences Mambo. Up. Now, we're a couple of seconds in. Uh, at the start, they made some presents here, got Jet her knives, and now they rotate all the way around to B, in which they're going to try a fast hit, as they have been for a while. However, notice right here, Viper has not set her wall up. Viper, because of the presence early in showers, is not prepped to set that wall up. She is instead concerned with potential people over there. Now, at this point... Um, Sova is going to spot one with the drone, and you can see how Viper's really trying to get there, really trying to get to the point that they can put the wall down. However, Mamamo notices and recognizes this is our chance. We have to go before we're walled off. And so they push through. They push through the Brim smoke. Um, Brim tries to ult to stop them. However, uh, it catches two. The others, however, are in sight, the Raisin Jet. They're able to clean up boy, and at this point, you have two people running over, um, and then Ray's also got a pick earlier onto, uh, a moment ago, onto Android as well, wow. which just isolates the Sova on here against three players, with two trying to rotate quickly, with the Viper utility not up in time. If it was up in time, um, perhaps it wouldn't have worked. Um, now, this is a time that mama mode said screw it we're going through the smoke uh so perhaps it would have worked uh through the viper wall as well however with the viper wall giving vulnerable and you can see Ray's being at 86 she might have been dead we don't know um i can't really tell so let's go right here Sova is still isolated, trying to hide which is smart however um does get killed and then after that, it's just a matter of time before Viper, and then Cypher get dropped. So this is the one round that Mamamo would win throughout the entire game. Um, once again, the biggest, most glaring difference in this round is that Viper was not used to influence their B defense. Instead, the B defense of Ambox just consisted of um, Phoenix... Brim, and Sova. And I think this is a clear indication that um, Ambox uses that Viper defense in a very effective way. The fact that it wasn't there and they lost, and every other round it was there and they won, really shows with how much it can mess with mom mode. And for that matter, a lot of teams that are not prepared for a Viper this way. So, so we'll finish watching this right here, with the rest of his and we can just see Cypher, Seb, rounds, trying to make the 3v1, really having nothing to lose, it's 9-0, however, not being able to pick it up. And finally, let's talk about Ambox's attack. Perhaps the most important part of Viper's um, impact on the team for Ambox, I think uh, it's generally agreed that Viper is quite strong defensively, that is obvious on split. However, on split, it's uh, or on other maps rather, it's hard to find some offensive use, and that's generally why Viper is not used. Uh, in FPX, the Viper attack was a little underwhelming. Um, she didn't bring that much to the team. Now, also, it was against a worse team, so who knows 
FPX might have been saving strats. And here we only get to see two rounds of the attack for Ambox for Viper. However, she had much less impact than um, she did on defense. But let's look right here at the minimap to start. Um, it's going to be a four stack, or sorry, a three stack A and two on B. Um, or no, I'm sorry, it's, it is 4A, 1B. I'm not paying attention now. Mama Mode is going to get aggressive on A. They kind of need to. They're down by so far. They need to get early picks. Unfortunately, hot. these picks Through are not going to go their way. Uh, it is going to end up as a 4B3 in Ambox's favor. Uh, you can see Jet tries to get for the early peak. Does not convert. And then ultimately, it's a trade. Now, Viper puts this wall straight down the middle right here. Which is interesting because it cuts off anyone who is controlling showers from helping on short. And you can see Brim and Sova are initially scared to push through this. They do fairly quickly, however, and can recognize that it's uh, maybe a fake. Uh, obviously, Brim has his smoke right here to try and deter them. But at the same time, Cypher um, finds the other Cypher over here. And they realized that, one of those squads that was able to do it's uh, or maybe it happened to them not going to be A. A weeks ago, though, paying, At this point, Cypher is dropped. Sova and Brim go through the TP. They establish control on B site. Also back um, the of the map was said, but and let's talk about right here. This is so uh, a really good use of like the Viper yeah, Molly. You'll notice that... Um, Yay is just going to throw the Molly. And it's going to land just right on the floor right there. This is interesting because... It's going to require the defenders to jump out rather than just falling. It's going to take them longer to land and be able to accurately shoot. Obviously, that's not important on pistol rounds, or rather not as important on pistol rounds, because um, the inaccuracy is more forgiving. However, on a normal round, this could be detrimental to actually pushing out from hookah at the time. So you'll see, they try and jump, but unfortunately, nothing's going to happen from it. And finally, let's talk about the last round. In this round, the first 30 seconds are spent just holding um, very passively, waiting to see if Mamba Mode Gaming is going to get aggressive. Uh, obviously, Mamba Mode will force. And so, wisely, and Box don't want to get uh, surprised by anything. So they just play passive. Now, eventually, they're going to work over to this B site, which in this round, Viper does not have a lot of impact sheerly because of the way the frags go and um, where the positioning is at the time. However, it's still useful to analyze um, her utility usage to actually get them on the site, even if it didn't matter and they could have walked on cleanly. So at this point, their hand, as far as they're going to work up go. B. Guns a um, shotgun. The owl drone is going to spot out Jep. Yep. Oh, and you can see, is. at this point, they are fully worked up B long. Uh, the cypher cam is going to notice them, which is why the brim is going to rotate now. Um... However, at this point, Cypher and Sova of Ambox are going to uh, work their way up. They are going to trade, get a kill on the Jet and Cypher. And Cypher is going to hold this raise off right here. And you can see already, Ambox are on the site, and they have a lot of utility. So let's rewind really fast and take a look at what that is. Has been Viper is going to throw a wall well, so right there. That is going to cut off... Um, it's going to cut off elbow. It does not look like it cuts off CT. However, she's also going to throw a smoke right here. That's going to cover cubby and a little bit of the box. Now, unfortunately, we can't really tell if it fully covers cubby. Um, and we can't tell if it doesn't fully cover, if it at least decays them, if they're close enough to touch the decay there. Um, however, obviously, they it would be very hard for them to peek through it. That leaves major places to clear, being this small cubby right here, perhaps under the hookah window. Um, and of course, CT is an issue. However, it's still an issue, but Brimstone is going to smoke off even deeper to Elbow and CT. They're going to push onto the site. Uh, Cypher and Sova would have worked up here, and from there you can see Brimstone is going to go and clear the rest of Hookah. So obviously here Viper's utility didn't have major impact, um, it kept the Brimstone off right here, but he was going elbow anyways. 
but it would probably be quite successful on a regular round. Obviously, this is very dependent on Viper staying alive and not dying. Without Viper right here, they only have the Brim Smokes right here to cover it, which is a very generic, um, not weak, but easily uh, countered way of pushing a site. It's too traditional at this point. Seb is just going to be messing around with the raise right here. <laughs> Silva's going to get it over. It and at this Not point, um, out, it is kind of a wash. He gets wall banged. Brim, Two once the, the Viper utility goes down, is going to push forward. Obviously, when Viper utility goes down, that's the warning sign at this point for Ambox. We've seen it throughout, and it works quite effectively. Ambox They're going to go down. Brim's going to try position, and push as our Silva. But... And with this we'll watch this out at the end of the day. They are going to lose. One of the angles, but the problem is Harmon's got a Bucky. And no recon bolt to play with. He's going to have to stick this and trust that second find the kills. He, does he gets a kill, but there's just not much they can do. And with that, it's a 13-1 in favor of Ambox using a very different comp. I didn't talk much about the Brimstone being picked over Omen because I want to largely focus on the Viper. But this comp is different to how the current meta in America is going. Um, I think throughout this video, it was very easy to see the impact Viper had on defense. I wish it was closer so that we could see more of what Viper offered on offense and how Ambox could use her. However, um, Viper's ability to mess with the timings of Mamba mode was clear, and it completely threw them off. And they oftentimes look lost because of it, just not really knowing how to push through it. So overall, Viper on defense on bind um, has some really good gimmicks and some very strong walls and smokes that she can use to really help out her team. 